Hi, my name's Helen and welcome to the Pilates Body and Soul video. While Pilates has been around for a very long time, it's only recently that it's become a household name worldwide. For some of you, this will be your introduction to Pilates. Pilates is a low impact workout that's designed to firm, strengthen and create a more flexible body. We will enhance your posture, improve your body awareness and through specific breathing techniques, teach you how to maximise your abdominal control and strength. So here we go, into the world of Pilates. We're going to start lying on our backs. Separating the feet so the ankles, the knees and the hips are in line. Hands placed gently by your sides and gently warming up the spine. I'd like you to begin by tucking and arching the lower back. Gentle movements, but noticing there is a distinct difference between the tuck and the arch. And now relax. And as you relax, allow the pelvis to settle into a position that's between the tuck and the arch. That's called your neutral pelvis. You'll notice in that position that your tailbone is gently resting on the ground, and if you continue up the spine, there's a natural curve in your lower back. The rib cage is gently resting on the ground. Again, continuing up the spine, there should be a natural arc at the back of your neck, and lastly, the back of your head gently resting on the ground. And that position is called your neutral spine. And now for the breathing, take a deep breath into the back of your lungs, into the side of your ribs and the abdominals. As you breathe out, feel the natural drop of the rib cage and the abdominals. Again, take a deep breath into the back of your lungs, into the side of your ribs and the abdominals. Breathe out, relax. Feel the natural drop of your rib cage and your abdominals. And again, breathe and expand. Fill the lungs deeply. And this time, as you breathe out, allow the ribs to drop down and draw the navel towards your spine, tightening your abdominals, but maintaining the neutral pelvis. Let it go, breathe and expand, fill the lungs deeply. And breathe out, allow the ribs to drop, and draw the navel towards the spine, tightening your abdominals, maintaining a neutral pelvis. And now holding the navel to the spine firmly, take a breath into the back of your lungs and the side of your ribs only. Breathe out, drop the ribs down towards the waist and the hips. This is your Pilates breathing. Try that again. Take a deep breath in to the back of the lungs, the side of the ribs, keeping the navel to the spine. Breathe out, drop the ribs down towards the waist and the hips. And now for moving the spine, keep the navel to the spine and breathe in. As you breathe out, use your abdominals to flatten the lower back to the floor. Lift your coccyx and roll the spine up vertebra by vertebra until you've got one long line between the knees, the hips and the shoulders. Hold that position, breathing in, and breathe out slowly, roll down softly through the chest, each vertebra turning to the floor one at a time. Breathe in, relax the pelvis. Breathe out using your abdominals, flatten the lower back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Again, lengthening long through the knees, the hips and the shoulders, breathing in. Breathe out slowly, roll down, vertebra by vertebra. One more, breathe in, relax the pelvis. Breathe out using your abdominals, flatten the back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Take a breath in and breathe out, gently roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Relaxing the pelvis in neutral. Slide your hands out to the side, palms facing down just below the shoulders. Draw the knees and feet together and keeping the navel to the spine, lift your heels off the ground, lift your toes off the ground and draw the knees up. Flatten the back to the floor, squeeze the knees together and breathe in. As you breathe out, take the knees towards the back, turn your head towards the front, and keep the front shoulder and shoulder blade firmly on the ground. Breathe and use your waist muscles, draw the knees back towards the centre. Breathe out, take the knees to the front, turn your head to the back, keeping the back shoulder and shoulder blade down. Breathe and use the waist muscles, returning to the centre. And again, breathe out towards the back, head to the front, feel the stretch across the chest. And breathe and use the waist muscles, draw the knees back to the centre. To the other side, breathing out. and breathing in, use the waist muscles, return the knees to the centre, one more each side. Breathe out, head to the front, knee to the back. And breathe in, use the waist muscles to draw the knees back. Last one, breathing out. Breathe in, use the waist muscles, draw the knees back to the centre. 
And now as you breathe out, slowly lower the feet down, keeping the navel to the spine firmly, supporting your back. Spine returning to neutral as the feet touch the ground. Bring your hands behind your head, linking the fingers together, keeping the elbows open. The navel drawn firmly to the spine and breathe in, lift your head gently, dropping the chin, lengthening the neck. Breathe out, curling forward, draw the ribs to the hips. Holding that position, navel to spine, breathe into the back of your lungs and the side of your ribs. And then breathe out, slowly rolling back. And again, breathe in, lift your head, dropping the chin, lengthening through the back of the neck. Breathe out, curling forward, drawing the ribs towards the hips. Stay there, navel to spine, breathing in firmly. And breathing out, slowly rolling back. One more. Breathe in, lift the head, dropping the chin, lengthening the neck. Breathe out, curling forward, draw the ribs to the hips. Keep the navel to the spine as you breathe into the back of your lungs and the side of your ribs. Breathe out, slowly back. And now adding in a twist. As you breathe in, lift the head again. As you breathe out, take the back shoulder towards the front knee. Keep the hips and knees very still. Breathe in, return to the centre, staying as high as you can through the chest. Breathe out, take the back shoulder. And breathe in, return to the centre, staying high through the chest. And breathe out again. Hips and knees still. Breathe in, return, staying high through the chest. And breathe out. Open the back elbow, open the front elbow, and breathe in, return to the centre. And breathing out. And breathe in, return to the centre, staying as high as you can through the chest area. One more. Breathing out. Breathing in. And now breathe out slowly, lengthening back. Stretch your arms and legs out for the preparation for hundreds. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Draw the navel down to the spine firmly. Relax the ribs, shoulders and the arms. Breathe in, bend your knees, sliding your toes along the ground, maintaining the neutral spine. Breathe out, curling forward. Flatten the back to the floor as you stretch the legs into the air. Hold that position, breathing in. Toes on the ground. And as you breathe out, lengthen all the way back. Reach the arms and legs out long. Again, breathing in, bend the knees, sliding your toes along the floor. Breathe out, curling forward. Flatten the back, stretch the legs into the air. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Breathe in, bend the knees, touch the toes on the ground, reach forward with the fingertips and then breathe out, lengthen away. Breathe in, bend the knees, sliding the toes along the ground. Breathe out, curl forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs into the air. Hold that position, breathe in, bending the knees, breathe out, lengthen away. Breathe in, bend the knees, sliding the toes along the ground. Breathe out, curl forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs. Reach forward with the fingertips, breathe in, hold the chest high. Breathe out, lengthen away, we've got one more. Breathe in, bend the knees, sliding the toes along the ground. Breathe out, curling forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs. In that position, place your hands behind your head. Practice your Pilates breathing, in and out without those abdominals moving. Back of the lungs, into the side of the ribs. Now in this position, if you need to modify, if you feel weakness in the lower back, you bend the knees. If you'd like to make the exercise harder, stretch the legs out. This is called your hundreds position. We're using it for the next exercise. Bend the knees, reach the fingers forward and lengthen back. The next exercise, a very traditional Pilates exercise called the hundreds. Let's start, breathing in, bend the knees, sliding your toes on the ground. Breathe out, curl forward into your hundreds position. Feel strong on your abdominals, feel safe in the lower back. If you feel the neck, you place the hands behind the head. And start breathing in, pumping the arms. Two, two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, breathe in. Two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, and three. Two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Strong arms. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and five. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and six. Remember to modify if you need to. And out. Two, three, four, five, and seven. Two, three, four, five five and out, two, three, four, five and eight, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and nine, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and ten. And out. Bend the knees, relaxing. That's the end of the first segment. And we'll be coming back into the next segment to start your legs. Gently stretching.
In this segment, we're focusing on the legs. The pelvic roll-up sequence is first. I'd like you to draw the navel to the spine firmly. Think of your Pilates breather. Take a breath into the back of your lungs and the side of your ribs. As you breathe out, use your abdominals to flatten the lower back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up vertebra by vertebra. You'll remember this one from the warm-ups. Hold that position, breathing in, and breathe out, gently roll down, vertebra by vertebra. And again, take a breath in, release the spine, pelvis in neutral, and breathe out. Use your abdominals, flatten the back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up vertebra by vertebra. Breathe in, one long line, and breathe out, slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, use your abdominals to flatten the back. Lift the coccyx and roll the spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Breathe in. And breathe out, slowly roll down, softly through the chest, each vertebra returning to the floor one at a time. Release the pelvis in neutral. Keeping the navel to the spine, we're working to the second phase of the exercise. So you breathe out, use your abdominals and flatten the back. Lift the coccyx and roll the spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Now holding that position, tighten the bottom towards the back and as you breathe in, lift the front knee, focusing on pelvic stability, hold those hips still. Breathe out, place the foot down. Tighten the bottom towards the front. Breathe in, lift the back knee, keeping the hips very still. Breathe out, place the foot down. And now hold the hips where they are, breathing in. Breathe out, roll down gently, vertebra by vertebra. Relax the pelvis in neutral, breathe in. Breathe out, using your abdominals, flatten the back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Tighten the bottom towards the back, holding the hips still, breathe in, lift the front knee. Breathe out, place the foot down. Tighten the bottom towards the front, breathe in, lift the back knee. The hips remain completely still. Breathe out, place the foot down. Take a breath in and breathe out, gently roll down vertebra by vertebra. Relax the pelvis one more. Breathe out, using your abdominals, flatten the lower back. Lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Lengthen along through the knees and hips. Tighten the bottom towards the back and as you breathe in, lift the front knee. Breathe out, place it down. Breathe in, lift the back knee and place it down. Take a breath in and breathe out, roll down. And now moving into the third phase of the exercise. This prepares us for a more advanced exercise. Take a breath in and that's called the shoulder bridge. As you breathe out, use your abdominals, flatten the lower back. Lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Tighten the bottom towards the back. Breathe in, lift the front knee. Breathe out, stretch the leg long into the air. And as you breathe in, lower the pelvis. Keep stretching the toes towards the ceiling. Breathe out, push the pelvis up one. We've got 10 of these. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, push two. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, push three. Breathe in, lower. Use the bottom and the back of the thigh, four, to help you up. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, five. Keep the abdominals firm. Breathe in. Breathe out, six. Breathe in. Breathe out, seven. Breathing in. Breathe out, eight. Breathing in, breathe out nine, one more, in, breathe out 10, breathe in, bend that knee. Breathe out, place the foot down and now tighten the bottom towards the front. Breathe in, lift the back knee. Breathe out, stretch the leg into the air. Now as you breathe in, lower the leg, reaching the toes towards the ceiling. Breathe out, push it up one. Breathe in down, breathe out two. Make sure both hips remain still and square. Three, maintaining the pelvic stability, four, Breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathe out six. Breathing in, breathe out seven. Breathing in, breathe out eight. Breathing in, breathe out nine. One more. 10, breathe in, bend the knee. Breathe out, place it down. Hold the hips nice and high, breathing in. And breathe out, gently roll down, softening through the chest. Each vertebra turning to the floor one at a time. And now relax the knees back to the chest. Link the fingers together underneath the knees and gently rock the knees back towards you, releasing the muscles of the lower spine. And now circle the knees towards the front, massaging over the back of the pelvis. And now towards the back. This should just feel good. Okay, slide the back leg down along the floor. Stretch the front leg into the air. Fingers linked together behind the thigh. Establish a neutral spine position again. Feel the tailbone down, the natural curve in the lower back. You might need to modify for this exercise, and June's going to show us how to modify by bending the underneath leg. And that's just if you feel any tightness or pulling in the lower back. So in this position, push into your hands firmly with the back of the front thigh. 
Stretch your toes up to the ceiling, lengthening through the hip joint. Allow the tailbone to drop and release into the ground as you do that. Holding that long, strong position of the front leg, breathe in and point the foot. Breathe out, flex the foot, push the heel to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the calf. Breathe in, point, reach the toes to the ceiling, and breathe out, flex the foot. And again, breathe in, reach, stretch the toes, and breathe out, flex. And now breathe in, bend the knee, pulling the thigh back towards your chest. As you breathe out, take that leg back into a strong hamstring stretch. Filling the muscle, stretching out through the back of the thigh. You can keep the hands behind the knee, or you can walk them up higher towards the ankle if you're a little bit more flexible. Now in this position, you need to check your posture. Your chin should be down, the back of the neck long. Shoulders pressed away from the ears, and your tailbone down. And now the other side, relax that leg down. Stretch the back leg into the air. Fingers linked together behind the thigh and establish a neutral spine again. Push into your hands with the back of the thigh. Lengthen the toes straight up to the ceiling. Reaching out of the hip joint, drop and release the tailbone down to the ground. Taking a breath in, point the foot. Breathe out, flex the foot, pushing the heel towards the ceiling. Breathe in, point the foot, reach the toes. And breathe out, flex the foot. And again, breathe in, stretch the toes. And breathe out, flex. Breathe in, bend the back of the knee, softening the thigh into the chest. And as you breathe out, keep the thigh where it is and take that lower leg back into a strong stretch behind the thigh. Stretching out the muscles we've just been working. And again, if you're more flexible, take the hands up higher. Again, check your posture. Your chin should be down the back of the neck long. Shoulders pressed away from the ears and the tailbone down. And now relax. That prepares us for another exercise called the leg circles. You start, front leg up in the air. And again, June will be modifying for us. If you feel any pulling or tightness in the lower back. Hands by your sides. Focusing on pelvic stability, take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, open the leg to the side and take it down. Breathe in, cross your center and lift. Breathe out, circle two. Breathe in, cross your center, lift. Maintaining neutral spine, three. Beginners, you might want to put the back hand on the back hip, four. So making sure you keep that pelvis still and stable. Breathe out, five. It's your abdominals that hold those hips still. Breathe out, six, but make sure you keep the chest and neck relaxed. Breathe out seven. More advanced people, keep your hands by your side. Breathe out eight. Breathing in. Breathe out nine. Breathing in. Breathe out ten. This is also working the front of the thigh quite hard. Other way. Breathe out down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out two. Again, work those abdominals to keep the hips still. Breathe out three. Keep that front leg as strong and as straight as you can. Four. No kinks in those knees. Breathe out five. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, six. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, seven. I know that thigh is getting nice and tight. Keep going, eight. Breathe in, lift. Nearly there. Breathe out, nine. Breathing in. One more, ten. And in, okay, now you can relax it. Other leg up in the air. Stretch the back leg towards the ceiling. Again, focus on keeping the abdominals firm, the pelvis stable. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, open to the side and down. Breathe in, cross your center and lift. Breathe out, circle two. Hold those abdominals firm and lift. Breathe out, circle three. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, circle four. Beginners, keep the hand on the hip. Breathe out, circle five. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, circle six. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, circle seven. Breathe in, lift. Eight. Lift. Breathe out, nine. Lift, breathe out 10. And now we've got 10 the other way. We're returning in the next segment. Breathe in, lift, and we're doing some abdominals and spine extension work. Three, lift. There's a very traditional posture of Pilates called the C curve and we start with this one today. I'd like you to sit up nice and tall for me, long through the spine and take a breath in. So you breathe out, drop your chin, soften your chest and draw the navel back behind the pelvis, keeping the shoulders over the hips. Hold that position, breathing in. And as you breathe out, slowly sit tall, starting from the base of the spine and lengthening long through to the crown of the head, breathing in. 
Again, breathe out, drop the chin, soften the chest and draw the navel back behind the pelvis. Keep the shoulders over the hips and take a breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly coming up, starting from the base of the spine and lengthening along through the crown of the head. Breathing in, one more. Breathe out, drop the chin, soften the chest, draw the navel back behind the pelvis. Creating the letter C, take a breath in and breathe out slowly, sitting tall. Start from the base of the spine and lengthen along through to the crown of the head. And that leads us into an exercise called the rolling. I'd like you to place the hands gently over the ankles, drop the chin, create the C-curve position and now as you breathe in, roll back onto the shoulder blades. Breathe out, roll up. Breathe in, roll back onto the shoulder blades. Breathe out, two. As you're doing this one, try and keep the feet off the ground. Three, breathing in, breathe out four, keep the chin tucked into the chest, breathe out five, maintain the C curve, breathing in, breathe out six, and again, breathing in, breathe out seven, breathing in, breathe out eight, two more, breathing in, breathe out nine, one more, breathing in, breathe out ten, and place the feet down. Hands behind the thighs and gently walk down your thighs. Working through the abdominal sequence. Bring the hands onto the knees, the knees into the air. You put a nice shig angle at the hip joint and the knee joint. For this one, if you need to modify for the neck, you place the hands behind the head. If you feel the lower back, you stop. We're working in an endurance section for your abdominals. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, stretch the front leg out. Breathe in, draw the knee back. Breathe out, back leg. But 10 sets of this one. Breathe out two. This is called the single leg stretch. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Breathe out three. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Keep the chest high, four. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Breathe out five. Breathing in, breathing out. Remember to modify if you need to. Breathe out six. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathe out seven. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the chest nice and high. Eight, and remember if you feel the lower back, you stop. Breathe out. Breathing in, breathe out nine. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out 10. The next one is called the double leg stretch. Breathe out. Place the hands on the ankles, keep the chest nice and high. As you breathe in, stretch the arms behind you, reaching the legs out. As you breathe out, circle the arms around, touch the side of the legs. Breathe in, reach back. And breathe out, circle two. Breathing in. Breathe out, three. Make sure you keep the chest high as you take the arms back. Four. Breathing in. Breathe out, five. Breathing in. Breathe out, six. Breathing in. Breathe out, seven. Breathing in, keep the chest up. Eight, protect the neck if you need to. And nine, one more. And work into the hamstring pull. Reach the legs towards the ceiling, hands behind the knees or behind the head if you're protecting the neck. Breathe in to prepare. As you breathe out, bring the front leg back. Give it a small pulse, breathing out again. And breathe out, back leg. Front. Back. 10 sets, three, pulse, back, pulse, four. Every time you pulse, try and keep the body very still. Five, pulse, six, pulse, seven, protect the neck if you need to, eight, and again, if you feel the lower back, you stop, build your strength up, bit by bit. Let's do one more set. Place the hands behind the head, keep the chest nice and high for the double leg extension. Breathing in, breathe out, stretch both legs out and breathe in, bend. Keep the chest high, breathe out two. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out three, breathing in. Breathe out four, breathing in. Breathe out five. Now if you'd like to make it a little harder, you take the legs out lower, six. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out seven. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out eight. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out nine. Breathe in, bend. 
breathe out 10. There's one more to go. The single leg stretch with twist. Straighten the front leg and take the front shoulder towards the back. Breathe in center and breathe out. Breathe in center. 10 sets, two. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out three. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out four. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out six. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathe out seven. Breathing in, out, breathing in. Breathe out eight, and center. Out, breathing in, nearly there. Nine, center, breathing out, and in one more set, 10. Center, out, and relax. Place the feet on the ground, hands out to the side, just below chest level. The side to side with circles to relax and unwind the spine. Take a breath in to prepare. Breathe out, gently take the knees towards the front, turn your head to the back. And breathe in return towards the center. And the other way, breathing out. Breathing in. And again, breathing out. Breathe in return to the center. And breathing out, relaxing, unwinding the spine. And return to center. This time, take the knees to the front, roll all the way onto your front side. Bring that top arm down and around and circle the arm all the way around behind you. And then coming back to center and the other way, breathing out. And breathe in return to the center. And again, breathing out, relax, stretch down, follow the fingertips of the eyes and come back to the center. Breathing out. And to the center. And now for the last one, keep the shoulders on the ground, gently relax the knees to one side, to the front. Bring the front hand down, look behind you as you circle the arm. And come back to the center. And take the knees to the back, using your back arm, look behind you as you circle. And breathe in. One more each way, breathe out. Circle, relax, unwind the spine. And breathing in. And breathing out. And that leads us into some exercises of the spine. I'd like you to roll onto your sides and slowly sit up. And then turn onto your tummy. Like so. First of all, teaching your neutral pelvis, lying on your tummy. Toes together, heels apart, and gently draw the pubic bone and the two hip bones into a neutral position. It's a very important posture lying on your tummy. And after we turn from the break, we'll be doing some exercises to strengthen the muscles of this area. Relax the pelvis. So we've learned how to place the pelvis in neutral and we'll go over that again. You start by gently pressing the pubic bone towards the floor until the pubic bone and the two hip bones are on an equal plane. That's the neutral pelvis. You've already learned that posture lying on your back. In that position, I'd like you to gently place your head down on your hands and take a breath in. As you breathe out, you push onto your elbows. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and as you breathe in, lower down, maintaining the neutral pelvis position. And again, breathe out, push up. And breathing in. And one more, breathe out, push up. And breathe in. Relaxing down, bring the legs into a parallel position so the soles of the feet and the backs and knees face the ceiling. Place your head down, your hands, maintaining the neutral pelvis. For the next one, we're going to be lifting the hands and the elbows as well. Breathe in to prepare. And breathe out, lift the head and shoulders and arms. And breathe in, slowly lower down. Breathe out, lift, check you're maintaining the neutral pelvis position. And breathe in, lower down. And breathe out, lift, maintain the neutral pelvis position. 
and breathe in down. And breathe out, lift and hold your position. Moving into the pivot very slowly. Take your front elbow towards your front hip and then breathe out, return to centre. And breathe in, take the back elbow to the back hip and breathe out, return to centre. And breathe in, lower down. Abdominal strong. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, pivot towards the front. And breathe out to the centre. And breathe into the back. And breathe out to the centre. Breathe out, lift. And breathe into the front. Breathe out to the centre. Hips and legs still. Breathe in. Breathe out to the centre. And breathe in, lower down. And placing the hands by the shoulders. Lift the hips up. And coming back into the rest position, relaxing. In this position, we're allowing the muscles of the lower back to relax and release. And sitting up. And that leads us into traditional sitting postures. I'd like you to sit down on your mats for me. Have your towels handy. If you find it hard to sit up nice and tall on your own, it's important that you do because we work the muscles at the front of the body as well as the back of the body. I'd like you to take your towel and sit on top of your towel and June will be showing us this posture. The first exercise is called the spine stretch. Sitting up nice and tall, lifting long out of the tummy and the spine, drawing the toes back just gently. Take a breath in, prepare. As you breathe out, curve the upper back over. Fingertips just touching the ground, curving the upper back, but keeping very straight through the abdominals and the spine. And breathe in, sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Breathe out, curve the upper back over. Fingertips just touching the ground. Take a breath in. And breathe out, sitting up tall, lengthening long through to the crown of the head. Think of stacking the vertebra one at a time. Breathe in. Breathe out, curve the upper back over. Fingertips just touching the ground, breathing in. And breathe out, sitting up tall. And now placing the hands on the knees. A variation on the spine stretch, breathe in to prepare. So breathe out, drop the head, the shoulders and slide the fingertips forward along the legs. Going as far as you can, keeping that straight position between the tummy and the back. As you breathe in, grab the legs and pull the spine forward. Open the chest. As you breathe out, drop the chin, soften the chest, draw the navel back into the spine and breathe in, stack the vertebra one at a time. Try that one again. Breathe out, head, shoulders, slide the fingertips forward along the legs. Grab a hold of the legs and breathe in. Pull up out of the pelvis, using the hands to assist you, draw the shoulders back. Breathe out, drop the chin, soften the chest. And breathe in, stack the vertebra. Let's do one more of those, breathing in. And breathe out, drop the chin, shoulders and slide the fingertips forward. And pull the spine forward, lift up, shoulders back, and breathe out, curve. And breathing in. Okay, coming forward to the front of your mats, make sure that you've got a lot of room behind you. June's going to come off her towel now, and this is called the open leg balance. It prepares us for a more intermediate to advanced exercise called the open leg rocker. I'd like you to lift the feet off the ground, being in a diamond position, leaning slightly back so that you can keep the toes off the floor. As you breathe in, keeping the back straight, you lengthen the front leg out. As you breathe out, you close it. As you breathe in, lengthen the back leg. And breathe out, close. Maintain the length and integrity of the posture and spine. Open and close. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's do one more each side. Breathing in. Now the important thing is maintain the integrity of the posture. If you've got tight hamstrings, you won't be able to get the legs straight, and that's okay. And then bend. Now let's try both legs. Breathing in. And breathing out. And carefully, if you lack flexibility, you won't be able to get the legs straight. You maintain the integrity of the spine. Lifting long out of the pelvis and down. And that leads us into the open leg balance with roll. Breathing in. Breathing out. As you breathe in, into the C curve, rolling back onto your shoulder blades, rolling forward and lengthen up tall through the spine. Breathe in. Breathing out, keep the shoulders down. And breathe in, chin to chest, curve back. Forward, lengthen through the spine. Breathing in and breathing out, one more. Breathe in, roll back. Roll forward and place the feet down. Bring the knees together. Moving yourself back again. 
June can sit on the tail again for people who again have that problem keeping that long straight spine and abdominal area. Separate the feet for the sore. Put the hands up, palms are facing down, sitting long and tall out of the pelvis. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, bring the back arm forward. Turn the head behind you and we're stretching out behind the back shoulder blade. As you breathe in, come up, sitting long and tall out of the pelvis. And breathe out, take the front hand forward and stretch out through that front shoulder blade. And breathe in, sitting nice and tall, lifting long out of the pelvis. And breathe out, stretching through the back shoulder blade, looking behind you. And breathe in, sit tall. Again, breathing out. And breathing in, one more each side. Breathing out. And breathing in, last one. Breathing out. And breathing in. Gently relax the hands down by your side. Bring the legs together. Squeeze your inner thighs, again still sitting on the towel if you have difficulty keeping the spine and the abdominals straight. This is called the spine twist. You place the hands over the chest. This is the beginner's version to show you how to work the obliques, the muscles at the side of your abdominals. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, twist towards the back. Come forward, just a little breathing. And breathe out, twist again. Breathing, come back to the centre. This is very slow. Breathe out to the front and breathe out again, pulse. Now let's pick up that speed to the back. Breathe in centre to the front. Breathe in centre to the back. Breathing in. Breathing in. Make sure you keep the hips and the ankles very, very still. Now place the hands out to the back. We're gonna finish off this segment here. Coming back to the centre. In the next segment, we'll be working the sides and the glutes. Sides, I'd like you to place the towel between the neck and shoulder. In this position, you bring the feet just a little in front of the hips, and that's to protect the lower back area. We're going to be working the muscles of the waist. Take a breath in to prepare, draw the navel to the spine, and lift the waist off the ground. As you breathe out, you lift both legs, stretching the toes out long from the hips. Breathe in, lower down. And again, breathe out, lift two. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift three. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift four. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift five. Breathe in, lower down. Focus on the muscles of the waist, six. If you'd like to make this one harder, you place the hand in the air like so. Seven. Breathe in, lower down. That makes it harder to balance. Eight. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, nine. You've got one more. Breathe out, ten. Hold the legs up. And now the top leg lifts up and together. Challenge the balance just a little, together. Three, together. Four, together. Five, keep the lower leg high. Six, also working the inner thigh. Seven, together. Eight, together. Nine, together. Get ready for the underneath leg. Lower and lift. Still keep the foot off the floor. Two and three. The underneath waist is lifted and strong. Four, keep the ribs in. Five and six and seven. Eight, nine, hold the last one up, ten. With those legs, reach them just a little higher, work those inner thighs, work the waist, and slowly down. Coming up onto your elbow for a very traditional exercise called a side kick. You've got the elbow directly underneath the shoulder, the feet flexed, a foot and a half in front of you. Drop down into the shoulder, that's bad posture. Push into your elbow, lift the underneath waist, and that's good posture, particularly underneath the armpit. With the top leg up to hip height. Now without the body moving at all, breathe in, take the leg forward, breathe out back. Breathing in, breathe out two. Breathing in, breathe out three. This is called the side kick. Four. Breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathe out six. 
Breathing in, breathe out seven, and eight, make sure you're not moving anything at all. Nine, and 10, relax. Let's do the other side. Taking your towel, again, placing it underneath the neck and shoulder. Hand down in front of the chest, feet just a little in front, protecting the hips and lift the underneath waist off the ground. Breathe in and breathe out, lift both legs and down. Two and lower, three and lower, four and lower, five and lower, six and lower. Stretch those legs long out of the hips and lower, eight and lower. Nine, remember if you'd like to make it harder, you place the hand in the air. Hold it up there, lift the top leg up and together. Two, reach those legs long out of the hips. Three, and together. Four, and together. Five, and together. Six, seven. Eight, strong underneath leg. Nine, ten, underneath leg. And one and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, keep the underneath waist lifted, eight, nine, think of that long straight spine, 10, keep those legs up and lift them just a little bit higher, lower. Coming up onto your elbow for the side kick, directly underneath the shoulder, feet flexed in front of the hips. Drop down into the shoulder, that's bad posture. Now push into the elbow, lift the underneath waist, lift the top leg and without the body moving, breathe in forward, breathe out back. Keep the hand down on the ground in front of the chest. Two and three. Nothing's allowed to move throughout that body. Four, strong torso. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, legs together, other side. This time working the glutes, firming up the bottom, lying on the side for me. Bending both knees, you've got the ankles in line with the hips, hand down in front of the chest, straighten the top leg, heel to the ceiling, toe down, underneath waist lifted. Breathe in to prepare, and breathe out the thigh lifts, one, two, and three. Keep lengthening long out of the hips, four, and Five, the top hip remains still. Six, seven, eight, nine. And now for small circles, keep that hip still. One, place the hand on the hip if you'd like. Two, just monitoring you, keeping the hip still. Three, and moving the thigh four. Five, heel to ceiling, toe down. Six, the better you do that part of it, the better it works. Eight, nine, ten. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keeping the hips still, 10, place the knees and feet together for clamps. Top hand behind the butt, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, lift the thigh, breathe in lower. Breathe out two, knee using the hand to keep the bottom still. Three, and together. Four, keep the underneath waist lifted. Five, it doesn't move. Six, check the ribs. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten the underneath leg, bring that hand and place it down in front of the chest. And now lift one. This is the clam number two. Two, make sure you keep those hips very still. Three, control the lower of the knee. Four, and lower. Five, and lower, six, underneath waist is lifted, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clam three, lift the knee, stretch the leg, bend the knee, lower down. Two, the underneath waist is still lifted, bend, lower down. Three, lengthen the leg, bend, lower down. Four, bend, lower down. Five, Bend, lower down. Six, nearly there. Get ready to do the other side. Seven, bend, keep those hips still. Eight, nine, got one more. 10, 
Okay, relax. Sitting up, onto the other side. Again, the towel between the neck and shoulder. Knees bent, straighten the top leg, lift the underneath waist, heel to the ceiling, toe down, breathe in to prepare. And the thigh lifts one, and down, two, and lower, three, breathing in, breathe out four, breathing in, breathe out five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now for the circles, lift, keep the hips still, two, and three, four, five, six, keep the ribs in, seven, always supporting the back, eight, nine, ten. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the knees and feet together for clams, hand behind the butt, and off we go, one. In this segment we're completing here, I'd like to continue doing ten of clam one, clam two, and clam three. In the next segment we'll be coming back, doing some stabilisation for the trunk. Stretching the muscles after the last exercise, I'd like you to sit tall, crossing your legs, place the hands out in front of you, and slowly walk the fingers forward, keeping a long spine, feeling the muscles stretching at the back of the hips. If you're flexible, you'd like to try something harder. Place the ankle over the opposite knee, and again into the stretch. And now coming up to the other side, crossing the legs with the other foot in front, sitting up tall, and walking the fingers forward. Stretching out the muscles behind the hips. And once again, if you'd like to make that harder, you place the ankle over the opposite knee. Like so. Okay, now coming up and moving into an all fours position, the cat position. I'd like you to have the shoulders directly over the wrists, the hips directly over the knees. And start by dropping the chin, curving the spine, and then bringing the spine back into neutral. And now gently arch the back and into neutral. Tuck, neutral, and gently arch. And now keeping the shoulders directly over the wrists, take the front foot back and the back foot. Holding that position, I'd like you to visualize the heel of your palms, the base of the triangle, your eye line is the pinnacle of the triangle, and you're holding a nice long plank position, the navel drawn firmly to the spine. And now relax the knees down, and again moving into the cat. Gently drop the chin, curve the spine, and then arch the spine, and neutral. And again, curve the spine, and neutral. And again, arch the spine. And we're moving into an exercise called the leg pull front. Again, back into the plank position, holding that position strongly, navel drawn to the spine. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, lift the front leg. Breathing in, breathe out back leg. Breathing in. Breathe out three, keep the hips very still, keep the navel to the spine, four. Breathing in, stretch the toes out five. Breathing in, six. Breathing in, seven. Eight, breathing in, breathe out nine. Breathing in, breathe out 10. Toes down, returning to the cat position. And again, curve the spine. Releasing and into neutral. Gentle arch and neutral. And again, curve the spine, and neutral, arch, and neutral. And now for push-ups. You can keep the knees where they are for push-ups, as June will be doing, or you can take the feet back for a traditional push-up. We've got 10 of them. Take a breath in, bend the elbows, breathe out, push. Breathing in, breathe out two, breathing in, three, breathing in, Breathe out four, breathing in. Breathe out five, keep the upper back broad as well as the chest. Six, and breathe out seven, 
Breathe in. Breathe out eight. Breathe in. Nine. Ten. Lift the hips up to the ceiling, pressing the heels down towards the floor, lengthening through the back of the calves and the thighs. Bend the knees. Jump your feet forward. And sit down. Lengthening the legs out in front of you for the back support. You start with the hands back behind you. If you need to modify, you can come down onto the elbows. Take a breath in to prepare. Have the hands at least a foot and a half behind. As you breathe out, push into your heels and lift the hips up into the air. One long line again from the toes through to the crown of the head. Breathe in and breathe out slowly. Lower the hips but keep them just off the ground. And again, breathe out, lift. Breathing in and breathe out, lower. Keep hips just off the ground, breathe in. Breathe out, lift three. Breathe in and breathe out, lower. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower. Let's do one more of these, breathe in. Breathe out, five. Breathe in and breathe out, lower. Sitting tall, wind the wrists, relaxing the muscles. Bend the knees, relax down over your thighs, softening the spine. Take a deep breath into the back. And breathe out, let it go, relaxing and releasing. And again, breathing in. And breathing out. And one more, breathing in. And out. Slowly sitting up through the spine. Come forward to the front of your mat for the seal puppy. Another traditional exercise, you place the hands in between the legs onto the fronts of the ankles and you sit up nice and tall to begin. Using the C-curve position again as you breathe in, you curve the spinal roll back onto the shoulder blades. Breathe out, roll forward and sit tall, lengthening up through the spine. Breathe in, curve the spine. Enjoy the lovely massage of the spinal area and work on the control at the end. Breathing in. Breathe out, roll up, lengthen through the spine. Breathing in. Breathe out. Be careful as you roll back, it's only onto the shoulder blades. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. And place the feet down. Next, we've got some neck stretches. Sitting up nice and tall. Place the hands by the ankles. If you'd like to, you can sit on the towel again. You can feel stiffness through the lower back area. Gently take the left ear towards the left shoulder so you feel a light stretch. At the right side of the neck. If you'd like to make this one more intense, press the right shoulder down towards the hip. Now from there, you turn the chin and the forehead down towards the left thigh. Allow the head to relax and soften. If you'd like to make that one harder, you place the hand over the head. Gently draw the chin into the chest. Lower the hand and sitting up nice and tall. And let's do the other side. Gently lower the ear towards the shoulder, feeling a light stretch on the left side of the neck. If you'd like to make that one stronger, you press that shoulder down towards the hip. From there, turn the chin the forehead down towards the right thigh. And to make that one harder, you place the hand over the head and gently draw the chin into the chest making the stretch stronger. Lower the hand down and the head down and slowly sit tall, lengthening up long through the crown of the head. And now lying on your back once more, feet facing the centre, gently releasing the spine, relaxing, unwinding to finish the workout. Taking these towards the front, the head towards the back, looking behind you. And coming back to the centre. Taking the head to the front, the knees towards the back, and coming back up. Breathe out as you take the knees to the front, the head to the back, and breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And again, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Once again, adding in the arm circles, take the knees towards the front, roll all the way onto your side, bring the front hand down, 
and stretch the fingertips all the way along the floor, reaching them long behind you and coming back to the centre and to the other side. And this completes your workout. I recommend that you do this workout three times a week to get the maximum benefits. Increase your strength, your flexibility and your tone. I hope you've enjoyed the Pilates workout as much as we've enjoyed presenting it to you. And remember, to maximise your benefits, we recommend that you do this workout three times a week. Consistency is the key to change.